So John, how do I replicate a, a, a VM on vSAN? So the key thing to think about this is you don't just replicate the entire data store. So if you worked with storage arrays back in the day, we would replicate LUNs and everything that was on that LUN, it, it followed whatever the replication policy of that LUN was. Um, and this sometimes meant you would discover that you had to separate some VMs or move them around and kind of, you know, in order to, to tie this together. There's a lot of extra orchestration or manual work. Uh, vSAN operations are all about VM first kind of management. And so we have SPVM policies. Each VM or even VMDK can kind of get its own blessed different uh, RAID policy or protection or performance characteristics. And replication should be the same way. So our native solutions for replication include per VM replication using vSphere replication. This uses an intelligent lightweight Delta protocol. This will only send diffs on the wire. This does uh, compression. And so this is WAN efficient. It can do encryption also, so it can secure that transit. And with this, you can you can set a uh, an SLA. You can set a recovery point objective. Say, I want this VM to be replicated daily. This one to be replicated at least once every four hours, this one every five minutes. And it will go in and enact that replication. This can also be orchestrated and large for failover purposes and fail back of replication with Site Recovery Manager, a great tool everyone should look at if they've got multiple sites for disaster recovery. Now, that's you know you've got that. That's doing great. But what what else? What else do I have? So let's let's take this to the next level. What if I want to replicate? into public cloud onto VMware Cloud on AWS. And I want to do that in a cost-effective manner. We have DR as a service. So this is a turnkey offering, includes support, extra hand-holding. And this, this replicates that. And we can do this to where we replicate either as hot VMs. We also have the ability to replicate into cold storage. So we can replicate into a cheaper kind of object storage model and then rapidly rehydrate those replicas out. Another great option. But what if what if I need more? What if I want to do uh, write splitting and get down to sub-second RPOs? Or what if uh, leveraging the, the we've got the the vSphere VIO, um, which is a an IO splitter basically. And this is a number of different backup and data protection replication third parties or good friends can provide additional capabilities there. Some may use it for backup, some may use it for replicas. Talk to your partners on that. There's also uh, the vSphere storage API is formerly known as VADP, which we've all known and loved for a decade or something, I think at this point. Uh, this can be used not only for backup, but also for replicating VMs in terms of operation. There's a lot of different capabilities here. Uh, one quick tip on vSphere replication is if you don't need VSS, if you don't need quiescence of the guest and you don't check that box, it doesn't actually necessarily need to fire off snapshots in its replication process. So that may help some people who are trying to get a, a real low stun. Uh, very good. Yeah. So really, it sounds like the moral of the story, you don't have to replicate a data store. Something no, that no, no. Nonsense. It's, <laughs> it's not 2008 anymore, Pete. That's it's right. Fine. No. We've, we've evolved. <laughs>